more grog. Hi guys, Ambi Darkman here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the new Lemon Ice Grog. This is the new grog flavor that just got released. For those who aren't aware, Grog is a drink made by Cold Ones, the YouTube channel run by Max Mofo and Anything for Views. Now, a few months ago, I did a review of the peach and grape grog, and you guys seem to really enjoy that video. So it made sense to come back and review the new lemon ice grog, this new flavor that just released. On their website, it says that they plan to release a new flavor every three months, and this is pretty much exactly three months since the first two came out. So it's pretty much out exactly right on time. Now this review will be broken into four parts. So firstly, I'm going to look at the packaging. We're gonna see what's actually in the box and what these stickers are. Then we're gonna do a taste test and I'm gonna describe the drink to you in as much detail as I can because I know this isn't available in a lot of the places where you guys live. After that, I'm gonna compare it to the other two flavors of grog. So we're gonna compare the lemon ice to the grape and the peach and I'll rank them and tell you guys which one is the best. And after that, I'm going to then compare it to some other lemon flavored drinks available on the market and we're gonna see how it stacks up against them. So relax, get comfortable as we dive into the review of the lemon ice grog. Now, before I get into the review proper, let's talk about the release of this flavor, lemon ice. Uh, this flavor officially released on December 1st, but the flavor has actually been known about for a while. That's because this drink was actually on sale at the Grog Bar, a temporary bar set up for the PAX 2023 event in Melbourne. So after this event, people started sharing photos and it became known that lemon ice would be the third flavor. Also, before the release, Max and Chad took a photo with Joji, aka Filthy Frank, at Max's wedding, where they were all holding Grog to replicate the infamous photo seven years earlier of them all holding the Chef DVD. And in that photo, you can see both Chad and Joji are holding a Grog, Lemon Ice. So as much as I'm looking forward to trying this new flavor, I can't exactly say that it was a surprise, but I don't mind because this photo is internet gold. Also, a quick word on the price, because that was a little bit of a controversial topic in my last video. This cost me about $84 plus $10 for shipping, so a total of $94 for 16 cans, which if you do the maths, works out to be about $5.87 per can if you include the shipping or $5.25 per can if you don't include the shipping. Now, as many of you were quick to let me know in my previous video, this does sound expensive, but as I sort of hinted at in my previous video, all alcohol in Australia is quite expensive. That's just the way it is over here. I think alcohol is very heavily taxed. I just got back from Japan where stuff you'd pay nine or $10 for over here is about two or $3 over there. So in terms of Australian alcohol prices, this is exactly the same price as other premixes available over here. It's Australia in general that's expensive, not grog. Hopefully when it goes on sale on your country, it'll be cheaper, but no guarantees on that one, unfortunately. Now, first up with the review, let's have a look at this box. So you'll notice that this is a 16 pack. Uh, now you might remember in my last video when I got the grape and the peach, uh, that was an eight pack that had four of the grape and four of the peach. So it was like a mix pack that had both and it was just way cheaper than buying 16 packs of both if I could get the one pack of eight that had both flavors in it. Unfortunately for lemon ice, the only way to buy this pack is to buy the 16 pack, which is of course double the price I paid for my last pack. But that's the only way you can get this drink. Now you'll notice that the color associated with lemon ice grog is actually this light blue color. I don't know if you can see that very well there. It's not a, a yellow color as you typically expect, although there is a little bit of yellow here, although I believe the cans are actually blue. Now you might be wondering why that is, and someone actually did ask the guys on Twitter, and their response was that the reason it's blue is because it's not lemon flavor, it's lemon ice flavor. Which is, I guess, fair enough, but I, I gotta admit, I don't actually know what that means. How's lemon different to lemon ice? Well, I guess we'll find out when we do the taste test. So yeah, the grape is purple, the peach is orange, and lemon ice is blue colored. They did describe the lemon ice flavor as a fizzy frozen icy pole. So I don't know what that means, but I'm expecting something a little different than say your typical sort of lemon flavored premix drink. Now, just looking at the rest of the box here, um, there's not a whole lot to say. So we've got, you can see here, it talks about all the different aspects of it. So it's a Japanese recipe, very low calorie. One thing I did forget to mention in the last video is that grog is actually no sugar. And I think the reason I didn't mention it is because you really can't actually taste the fact that it has no sugar. They've done a really good job at making a sugar-free drink that still tastes somewhat sweet, but doesn't just have that awful sugarless flavor associated with it. 
We've got 6% alcohol here, and it is of course a 16 pack with 330 mil cans. Okay, on this side, we've got a QR code. We've got the Made by Cold Ones logo, and then we've got a little description here. It says, finally grog. Delicious fruity flavors combined with Japanese shochu, vodka, and soda to create a refreshingly crisp and delightfully groggy beverage. Tried and tested by the most seasoned drinkers in Australia, grog is the perfect summer sampler for anyone who enjoys some cold ones. And of course, bottom text. And there's the underside, but not really much to see there. Now, you may recall the last time they actually included some stuff in the actual postage box for free. Uh, they included a car air freshener, and they also included a little card that explained to you how to uh, try grog for the first time. But this time they've included a different gift. They've included two stickers, uh, which are grog stickers. And they are of course blue in the new lemon ice color. So you get two lemon ice grog stickers for free, which I thought was a nice little touch. I'm looking forward to hanging on to them. All right, so that's about all there is to say about the packaging. So let's open it up, have a look at the grog and give it a taste test. Now, if we look at this can, we can see that uh, it's much like the other cans over here. Not really much different going on. It does, of course, say lemon ice at the top. We've got that nice blue color going on here. And yeah, it's got that little lemon ice picture on the side. But other than that, it's pretty much identical to the cans we looked at in the previous video. All right, so it is now time to give our lemon ice grog a taste test. So I've had this sitting in the fridge, but we've still got the glass of ice here. So let's crack it open and see what it tastes like. There we go. All right, so there's our lemon ice grog and we'll pour that into the glass. So let's give that a shot. All right, so that's nice and cold there. You can see it's got quite a bit of fizz to it. Um, it's clear just like the other two grogs were. Um, yeah, that's about all there is to say. So I'm gonna give it the first taste test and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. All right, that is a really interesting flavor. Um, it's not like a typical lemon drink. Their description of a lemon flavored icy pole is really quite accurate. It's got a very subtle lemon flavor to it. And if you've ever had like a, um, a clear lemon icy pole, it tastes exactly like that, but in a frozen form. They've absolutely nailed this lemon ice flavor. It is really good, really refreshing. If you tried the previous grogs and found that the flavor was a bit too full on for you, you'll definitely prefer this one because it is a lot more subtle than these flavors. Uh, but it, it has that same sort of great grog taste, very um, refreshing. It doesn't taste like it's a no sugar drink, even though it is. Much like these two, they've absolutely nailed the no sugar aspect of it. It still tastes nice and sweet. Not too sweet, but enough that it tastes like a, a premixed drink. So yeah, I have really enjoyed this so far and I'm very curious to, to compare it to these two and see how it tastes. So that's actually what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna crack open the grape, crack open the peach, and then we're gonna have all three and see how they taste. All right, so we've got our three drinks here. So first I'm gonna try the grape, then I'm gonna try the peach, and then I'm gonna go back to the lemon ice and I'm gonna tell you which of them I think is the best and rank them. So let's see how we go. First for the grape. Oh, I still really enjoy that grape. It has sort of that grape fan to taste to it, but a bit more natural, very nice and sweet, very refreshing. I, I do really have a soft spot for grape, so that's gonna be hard to beat, but let's try the peach. Oh, that peach is good too. Honestly, they are all just so good and this is gonna be hard to rank them. This really just tastes like a slightly alcoholic peach iced tea. It would be so refreshing on a nice hot day. But anyway, that's the two old drinks. So let's give the lemon ice a shot and then I'm gonna rank all three of them. Oh, that lemon icy pole flavor is so good. It's very subtle, but it is so refreshing. And like I said, it's such a unique flavor that they have just really nailed it. I, I cannot even think of another drink to compare it to, except to compare it to a lemon icy pole, because there's nothing really else on the market like that. So it's very unique. All right, this is gonna be tough for me, but I have to rank these drinks and I think I've come up with my ranking. So number one has to be grape for me. I don't know what it is about this drink. I just really love it. I mean, I like grape Fanta to begin with and they've pretty much matched that taste. So I really like my grape, so that's number one. Number two is definitely lemon ice. Like I said, this is a really unique drink, really refreshing on a hot day. I absolutely love this flavor, so that's gonna be number two. 
And in third place is Peach. I've got nothing against Peach. I absolutely love it. I just prefer the other two more. So my ranking would be Grape, Lemon Ice, Peach. All right, guys. Now, I think you know what's coming next. But if you remember in my last video, I did what I called the dual grog, which is where I mixed these two grogs into one glass to try that flavor. Well, now we've got three grogs, so it only makes sense to try that again. I'm going to mix all three grogs into one glass just to see what it tastes like. Now, I have no, no reason for doing this, but I really just want to see what it tastes like. So let's get into it. All right, so we're going to do this professional. I've got a fresh glass. And I've even got the measure here. So we're gonna put 30 mils of each of the three drinks into here. So it's gonna be equally mixed and we're gonna see how it tastes. All right, so here we have the triple grog with equal parts of lemon ice, grape and peach. So let's give it a taste test and I'll let you know how this abomination tastes. Okay, so the best way I can describe that is it's literally if they bought out a fruit punch grog flavor. You can literally taste bits of the lemon ice, the grape and the peach in there. You get notes of each of them. Uh, but because all of these sort of have a similar flavor to begin with, it just melds really nicely. So yeah, it actually does work somehow. It just tastes like a little bit of all three. Uh, you get different notes at different times, but it actually does work, which I think is really the interesting thing here. All right, so now that we've got the triple grog out of the way, the next thing to try is to compare this lemon ice to some other lemon flavored drinks on the market. So the three that we're gonna compare it against are this Strong Zero here, which I think last time I said was available in every country, but I realize now that it's only available in about four. Then we're gonna try the Yeet Juice, which is very niche. You can only get it in Adelaide, but you guys seem to love this last time. So we're gonna try it against the lemon ice grog. And finally, we're gonna try it against the Hard Solo, which is an alcoholic variant of a classic Australian drink called Solo. Now, I mentioned in my last video that they're actually trying to get this drink banned because they were worried that children would confuse it for the soft drink, but they've reached a compromise and instead of banning it now, they're gonna rename this to Hard Rated. I don't know where that name comes from and it seems like a terrible branding decision, but at least we'll still be able to buy this on the market. All right, so we've got our lemon ice grog, we've got our minus 196 or strong zero, we've got our yeet juice and we've got our hard solo. So I'm gonna pour them all into these ice glasses here and then we're gonna do a comparison and I'm gonna rank them in order from best to worst in my opinion. So let's get into it. All right, so we've poured our four drinks. Uh, you can see there's some quite different colors here. So the minus 196 is clear like the lemon ice grog, but the yeet juice is of course purple and the hard solo has a bit of a yellow color to it. So I'm gonna try these in order and just see what they taste like. So the lemon ice grog, um, I'm worried that I'm gonna have trouble comparing it to the other two because it really does have like a lemon icy pole flavor, whereas these have more of a traditional lemon flavor. But yeah, it's really good. I can't fault it for that reason. It is an absolutely delicious drink. All right, now we're gonna try the minus 196. This is a classic lemon flavored drink from Japan. See, that has much more of a traditional lemon flavor. It literally tastes like actual lemons uh, with some alcohol in it. It's an iconic drink out of Japan. I wouldn't mind betting that it was some inspiration for Grog, but the flavor difference here is quite obvious. They are not the same flavor. All right, next up, we're going for the Yeet Juice. Uh, you might remember from my previous video that this is a purple colored drink uh, from my hometown of Adelaide. It's a lemonade that is just colored purple and has alcohol in it. So let's give it a taste test. So you guys might be disappointed to hear this, but the Yeet Juice is actually uh, not very good in my opinion. It's got a very bitter sort of lemony taste to it. Um, after having these two, it was a little bit disappointing. So I don't know how high that's gonna rank, but yeah, that's your Yeet Juice. And finally, we've got the Hard Solo. So this is just like the Australian soft drink Solo, but with alcohol in it. And I absolutely love Solo. Um, so this I imagine will rank pretty high, but let's, let's refresh my memory. Mm, that is really good. I do enjoy uh, Solo just by itself on a nice hot summer's day. Um, and the alcohol version is, is just as good. So I really do enjoy that. All right, this is really tough, but I do have to rank these drinks. So here we go. In first place has to be the Hard Solo because I just do have a bit of a soft spot for it. It's such a unique drink. Um, it tastes really good. Even the story about its name being changed is, is just iconic. So yeah, definitely do love the Hard Solo. That has to be in spot number one. 
Number two, definitely lemon ice grog. If, if there was no hard solar around, I'm definitely going for the lemon ice. This flavor is just so unique, so refreshing. It tastes really good. I just want to drink more of it when I have it. Uh, really can't fault this drink in any way. So definitely number two, lemon ice grog. In third place is the minus 196. Like I said, it's an iconic drink and I could drink it any day, but given the choice between that and the lemon ice grog, I would actually pick the lemon ice grog. So for that reason, it ends up in third place. And finally, in fourth place is the Yeet Juice. I mean, it has got a funny name. It is purple, but it isn't the best tasting drink I've ever had. So it sits in fourth place. Anyway, I think that's about all there is to say about Grog Lemon Ice. We've done a full review, we've compared it, and I've tried to describe it as accurately as I can for you guys. Hopefully you get the chance to try it someday if it's available in your country. And thanks once again to Max and Chad for creating this awesome product. You guys obviously put a lot of work into this and it definitely shows and you should be very proud of this creation. Now guys, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you considered smashing that like button. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I don't just make content like this. I also make a lot of documentaries and other videos which you might find interesting and I'd suggest you check them out too. Finally, you might also wanna check out my Discord server. We have some good banter going on there and talk about all things cold ones as well as other topics such as Joji and other stuff. So you might want to check it out. Anyway, this has been NB Duckman. Thank you guys so much for watching.